So over the past few weeks, we have been trying to sketch a creature that Drew discovered deep, 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 deep in the heart of Camp Pencil Point. More importantly, over the past few weeks, I have been trying to incorporate the concept of squash and stretch. Today, won't you join me as I animate more squashy frogs of Chicken Wing Swamp. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, otters and dragons and octopi, welcome to Camp Pencil Point, a place where we draw using nonsense and tomfoolery, and my Camp Pencil Pointers out there, I would like to draw with you tonight. Don't miss out on any of our drawings or any of our adventures. All you have to do is simply follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube, and you can subscribe to our videos so you won't miss anything. Camp Pencil Point sits on several acres of uncharted land, land crawling with strange and peculiar creatures. We sent out our resident explorer, Drew T. Dractopus, to go out, describe these creatures to us, and we draw. So, for the past few weeks, I've been trying to draw this frog. The frog of Chicken Wing Swamp. Side note, you can see these past videos anytime you want by checking out camppencilpoint.com. First of all, I drew a round frog. And then, in the next video, I drew another round frog. And then in the next video after that, I drew a squashy frog. And then in the next video after that, I drew another squashy frog. So all of these are not accurate, actually, according to Drew. But it was in that last video that I drew a frog with a big mouth. It was either croaking or it was belching or, you know, it was singing. Or, I guess, I guess it was screaming if you want to go there. I wanted to take this frog and, and draw it again. Which brings me back. Brings me all the way back to the emails and the direct messages that I got asking me to explain squash and stretch a little bit more. But instead of trying to explain it, you know, because words are difficult. Let me show you how it works using a very, very simple animation. Before I go full steam ahead into my drawing, Camp Pencil Pointers out there, let me remind you, take the stress out of your drawing. I actually have not sped up this video, but I still draw pretty quickly. I've drawn this frog for a few weeks now, I'm kind of in practice. but So I'm drawing pretty quickly. Don't feel that you need to uh, keep up with my pace. There is a pause button, utilize it, and you could also rewind the video. Please, I urge you camp pencil pointers out there to draw at your own pace. Let's get to the animation. But what I'm doing right now is I am drawing the gesture with my pencil. Once again, breaking it down into simple shapes. Three round shapes. And then I'm going to draw the triangular shapes, two big ones for the feet, and then two tiny ones for the arms. And I'm going to go in and draw the face. Keep it really simple. So like I said, I moved pretty quickly, but I kept it very simple. Now I'm going to go on to a Sharpie. And Sharpies don't give you a lot of good line quality. I don't usually use them in my drawing. But since I'm keeping this frog pretty consistent and simple. Sharpie is perfect for doing quick, simple drawings. So as always, I'm taking a bunch of simple shapes and I'm going into my final line and I'm either breaking down those simple shapes or I'm combining those simple shapes. And now I'm going to draw the little tiny arms, which were actually my favorite part of this drawing. We're going to put in the two eyes and the big smiling face now. So now we're going to move to a second drawing. The squash and stretch has not happened. We're going to commence in the squash and stretch. But I'm going to take another piece of paper and I'm going to lay it over this drawing. And we're going to animate this little frog. You will notice right away that you could see through this paper. 
it's just normal it's just regular computer paper so when i wiped it with my my hand it made it a little more transparent so the the under drawing could be seen I'm gonna go in with my pencil and i could see that round middle shape what i'm gonna do is squash it down a little bit now these two round shapes i'm gonna go straight up with them the previous drawing they were kind of splayed out a little bit but now they're straight up and that's kind of playing into the squash of the main shape in the middle. When that shape gets squashed, those other two round shapes go straight up. Also playing with a little bit of squash with those triangles. You will notice the big triangles that I use for the feet, they get squashed a little bit, they do a little bit of a turn. Also you'll notice with the squash, the mouth gets a lot wider. Now I'm gonna go in with my Sharpie. But first, but first, because Sharpies tend to bleed a lot, I removed that previous drawing so it wouldn't be contaminated by the Sharpie leaking through. So I'm going in with the Sharpie again, wrapping around, once again, connecting shapes, combining shapes or breaking them down. So here's an example of combining shapes where the legs, the two round shapes that represent the legs, go right into that body squashing the eyes so they're shut the mouth not only got squashed but it got stretched out so the frog got flatter he widened out a lot and now we're going to give him his feet also squashed a reaction from being squashed curled up a little bit those two tiny front arms like i said they they kind of stole the show for me they were my favorite part drawing this frog and now we're going to go separate the legs by a simple line dividing that shape in half so there is that there is that breaking down of shapes and now i'm going to do a really rough animation a little a really rough flip to show you how a little bit of movement it'll become more evident when i combine them together using procreate but now i'm laying down another piece of paper and now i'm going to draw my stretched shape it's almost like taking that round shape and hooking it and pulling it straight up just like i did in that video a few weeks ago so there is that shape now we have two more round shapes to play with that are the legs in the previous drawing they went straight up in reaction to that middle shape getting squashed so flat in this instance they're splaying out a little bit more to react from that round shape getting stretched out like so my favorite part my two smaller triangles in the front they're going to come closer together to also react to that main round shape stretching out and i'm going to draw the mouth which is really the catalyst of this whole round shape getting stretched out like so and a little tongue and a little a little tooth action i don't think frogs actually have teeth so now that the rough is done i'm going to remove the drawing from underneath and switch to my sharpie and as I start filling in shapes and start adding lines, uh, let me remind you that drawing is for everyone. You can be the age of three, you can be the age of 30, you can be the age of 300. Don't say you're too old and don't say you're too young. You don't have to draw for perfection, you just draw for fun. And I never meant for that to rhyme, it just does. So I'm filling in the mouth now, and the nice thing about Sharpies is they fill a lot of space very quickly. We'll move on to the eyes, and then we'll start combining these simple shapes, the round simple shapes. We're gonna go up the side of the frog, and we're gonna go down the other side of the frog. Go right into that leg. I like to put a little bump there to show the, the joining of those two shapes. And we're going to wrap around the leg like so and we're going to do the same thing on the other side now here's the part where we break shapes down i'm going to put a line here to show the break in the leg so we have an upper leg and a lower leg and we're going to pull that right into the foot and you can see a little bit of overlap happening it's like that lower leg goes right into the center of that foot and now we're going to do the two tiny arms in the middle push together to really emphasize that stretch. And let me lay over the other drawings. I'm gonna to try to flip through really quickly. I never became an animator because I was never very good at flipping <laughs> these, uh, these drawings. But you get a simple idea of what's going on. We're gonna to switch to the animation with sound effects.
So there you go. That's what uh, I actually put that animation together in Procreate. I took pictures of my marker sketches and, and put a little animation feature together. So there, there it was. Squash and stretch in action in animated form. Try it at home. The most important thing is to have fun and laugh a lot as you're, as you're drawing. Really, you can't draw a squashy frog without laughing. So I know last week I promised that Emily would draw her own version of the squashy frog at Chicken Wing Swamp. This animation came up, so that's why we delayed it. But I assure you, Emily is working on her interpretation. Speaking of interpretations, if you drew your own squashy frog or animated your own frog, we would love to see what you drew. Will they make me laugh? Will they make me cry? They, they probably won't make me angry because I love it when my camp pencil pointers share their artwork. So if you drew your own frog and you're up for it, post your round frog to social media and use hashtag camp pencil point or hashtag draw something ridiculous. And I cannot wait to see what you draw. So one more time, like, follow, and subscribe to our videos on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. You can check out camppencilpoint.com for links to all of these channels and for links to all of the artists at Camp Pencil Point. That's myself, Emily, Chef Miker, Josh, and Drew T. Droctopus. While you're following us, take a look at all of our artwork and give us a follow. As always, I encourage you, my Camp Pencil Pointers, to draw every day, but take the stress out of drawing and draw for fun. Thank you, everyone, for joining us tonight, and please take care of yourself. And remember, never stop creating, and never stop inspiring. Until next time, everyone, go out and draw something ridiculous. I want to say hey to Mrs. Poach, Mrs. Poach and her class. I actually spent last week drawing not only a, a cute little owl, we all drew a cute little owl, but we also did some Frankenstein sketching. I, not only, not only did I have a lot of fun, I also learned a little bit about geckos. And it continues the streak because whenever we do live drawing with a, a group of kids. Someone is a reptile mama or papa. The streak continues, a lot of pet reptiles out there. To be honest, you'll never know, you'll never know when I will go live, but uh, like I went live twice on Instagram this past week, just because it's fun to draw on Instagram. What I actually did draw on Instagram, I don't know if you can see, I drew a, drew a hairless, a hairless Ewok. You're welcome, and I'm sorry.